all right just thought I'd do a real quick video on my on some channels that I watch to stay up with finance type of things um, I think that they're all secular uh, usually they're pretty clean they don't use a whole lot of profanity but just put that in as a disclaimer I'm not for profanity very unprofessional in video um, and I'm a Christian so I don't like it but uh, probably hear the waterfall over here to my left um, we were up earlier showing that but uh, um, real pretty trail out here this morning it's probably about 7.30 in the morning right now. 20 degrees when we got up. You can see the river, Savoy's River behind me. <laughs> very cold, but great, very invigorating hike. Um, all total, probably about seven miles we hiked this morning. Uh, when we get back to the parking lot really rocky trail here but anyhow what are the wait till I get past this spot oh. the river noise is pretty loud uh, I use a regular camera too by the way I don't have a GoPro had a, somebody send me a selfie stick and uh, it doesn't work my camera's too heavy so Thank you, but uh, I just have to switch my arms occasionally. But um, anyhow, uh, the channels that I watch, um, I've been watching uh, Jeremiah Babe for a long time. He's got some pretty good insight and says a lot of good things just about the true condition of the economy, the non-mainstream media economy. <laughs> Um, Neil McCoy Ward is another one. He actually likes to do walk and talks like I'm doing, uh, like this out of nature. He's from the UK, currently resides in the, on the uh, Isle, Isle of Man. And um, I've learned a lot of things about economics from him. Um, another guy, there's a younger guy, Reventure Consulting. I've watched some of his stuff. Uh, another one that I watch is uh, I Allegedly, Dan is his name, he brings out some good news articles and things, uses some profanity now and then, so just be aware of that if you watch him, but again, there, he's covering stories that you just aren't going to hear much of in the mainstream media, he's dealing with people, you know, so, um, Mark Moss, I've seen some of his stuff. He puts out some decent videos on occasion, kind of really breaking things down in an easy to understand format. Um, Epic Economist, I watch some of that. You know, occasionally they, they bring out some good stuff. A lot of stock video footage and whatever, you know, of people acting dramatic and whatnot, which is a little bit, it's okay, I guess, but that's what that channel's mostly about, not just I mean, they show the articles, but then they, you know, get into some of that stuff. Um, used to watch Gerald Salente from the Trends Journal, Trends Forecasting Guy, but his mouth is just so foul and everything else, I just got tired of it. I can't stand the constant yelling and over-the-top profanity. It's, it just gets on my nerves, so I stopped watching him a while back. Um, trying to think if there's anybody else that I watch occasionally but uh, economics uh, will show a lot of the current trends that are predicting future events and that's why I think it's important for a child of God to understand some things because there's so much lying propaganda out there in mainstream media because they have agendas that they want to accomplish and you get deceived and tricked into thinking that things are getting better, the economy's never been better, housing market is booming, and then you actually study the real science and the real down-to-earth stuff, 
Oh, I know another one, Scott Walters, realtor. Heard about him from uh, Dan from I allegedly. I watched some of his stuff too. Um, puts out some decent information, but you know, and and he brought out in a recent video the thing about the housing market, about how that it's a huge bubble that's going to burst, and the reason it hasn't yet is because you have a lot of realtors. They make their money from commission. So they want to tell people, hey, you know, the housing market's great. You know, yeah, you, you know, a house back in 2019 might have been 175,000. And then in 2020, it went up to 250,000. 2021, it was worth 320,000. So you, now's the time to buy it at 375,000 because the trend, if it continues, It'll be worth 500000 in another year. Uh, okay. Well, they say it's inflation. It's inflation that's driving the pricing up. No, it's not inflation. That is a lie. That's something a lot of people are falling for right now. The uh, income to debt ratio is huge right now. People are just not making enough money to pay their houses off. And uh, it's going to be bad. Where are you going? Okay, you can. They're going the, the left trail. I'll stick to the right path. Of course, I might be on the broad path that leadeth to destruction. I'm just joking. But, uh, yeah. But I think I'm going to be doing a video on the housing market thing because I've been studying it for a while. Uh, because everything's really messed up right now in terms of housing here in America. There's so many lies being told and uh, it's just crazy all the different things that are happening and um, so we will see but uh, I don't think that there's any other financial channels that I watch and um, that's pretty much it. Oh, I know another one. Okay, just came to me. Economic Ninja. That's another one. So, uh, he's another one that brings out a lot of good stories, just short little videos. Oh, here they come. There's the shortcut, or a long way or something, I don't know. The scenic route, there you go. <laughs> And a GPS, yeah. Yes. So. And an iPhone. Yeah. But anyhow. Right. Um, so, do not be deceived, brethren. The economy is not getting better. The Bible says evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. So, what we're seeing is trends that are getting worse. Again, uh, one of the biggest trends that's out there is the destruction of the financial systems to bring in the cashless system of the Antichrist, the mark of the beast system. And even the most lost man or woman now is finally starting to see it and they're saying, huh, central bank digital currencies and you can't buy or sell without it. That's interesting. Um, not so good. And tracking and tracing everything you buy Eesh. not good either but uh, you have the whole World Economic Forum uh, fourth industrial revolution you'll own nothing and be happy Klaus Schwab and uh, people talk all about Klaus Schwab you know and Bill Gates of hell you know and and uh, all these different guys but they leave out the Vatican a lot of times there's a papal enclave I believe it's called the, to the World Economic Forum you know, it's, they have a guy that goes there from the Vatican. Well, just leave that part out, you know. And uh, how a lot of these guys are Jesuit trained and papal knighthoods and whatever else that are for the destroying of the people's freedom. We won't talk about that, though. 
um, because that would confirm scripture. So, uh, as time goes by, there will be more things happening in the world that will confirm the scriptures. And as Christians, Bible believers, we need to be there to point people in that direction. I remember hearing a guy say the one time, he said, I understand a lot of the conspiracy stuff, he said, but I don't know how it all ties together. And I'm trying desperately to figure that out. Well, there will be a lot of people like that in the future that are going to want answers. And we are supposed to be the light of the world, um, reflecting Jesus Christ's light, not our own light. But uh, we're supposed to help people understand what's going on. And uh, that's been one of the biggest failings of the modern church buildings because they, they're all about entertaining people and whatever else. It's quite disgusting. So, just doing a little walking and talking by the beautiful river over here. It's really pretty. We're on the nice part of the trail now. All the nice stone on the trail, the crushed stone and just an enjoyable thing. And you know, I just want to say one other thing here, another little rant, little angry rant here. <laughs> Not really angry, just kind of frustrated with people. I hear people and they say, um, well, I wish I could move out to the country, Brother Brian, but I just don't have the money for it. I don't, and I understand why. It's because you're trapped in the city and it, the cost of living is so high that you're living paycheck to paycheck. But uh, it's not expensive to live out here. That's something I want to debunk, and I've debunked it before, so that that's a bunch of nonsense. Uh, we live on one income, and we, you know, we don't go out to eat, we don't go to movies, or we don't have any debt. Um, and you can live, you can survive. You know, again, some guy in the comments one day said, you know, with all that money you make, you're probably eating really well and everything else, and I'm thinking, uh, <laughs> not the way you think. Um, we still buy the what's called penny-wise potatoes. They're damaged from a local farm, and you can get 50 pounds for five dollars. Um, but I guess we're I'm a ultra-rich guy or whatever else. No, I'm not. And um, you can come out to a country area, and you can live pretty cheap. So. Uh, most people, I mean, except for some rare exceptions, but most people are just making excuses for, oh, I can't move out to the country, brother, and whatever. Well, I understand that there's some real violence coming to the city, and, uh, you know, you're going to be part of it if you don't get out of there. And I don't want to see that happen to anybody. And, you know, um, there's a lot of people out there, too, that, you get yourself into a bad situation because of years and years of living in sin and then you come along and you say hey what do I do well if you're saved you really don't need to know from a preacher what you need to do you should know um, you should understand the Holy Spirit will be your teacher but uh, we first moved to Maine just to say it this way we sold everything we could back in 2013 is when we moved bought an old house rundown place for uh, $16,000 Bridgewater Maine and it had no running water and a whole lot of other issues with it and we moved in and we went for months without any running water it had a spring in the basement shallow spring in the basement so we were able to get water from there but uh, you say, oh, things have gotten better? Well, in some ways, I guess. But um, we have been without running water in terms of a faucet and the whole deal uh, since uh, 2018. It's now 2022, May of 2022. So um, you can get by. You can survive. And uh, if you're a young man, 
Um, wanting a life of adventure. Little bridge there going over. If you're a young man wanting a life of adventure, uh, head for the head for the hills. <laughs> um, don't get messed up with video gaming and all kinds of other stupid nonsense like that. That's just a waste of time. Um, I wasted far too many years of my life um, playing video games. Just terrible. I wish I could go back and get all that time back. I'd have a lot. I'd be a lot further ahead in life. So, well, we're getting close to being out of out towards the road now, out towards the parking area. I guess I'll just keep talking, <laughs> talking as I'm walking. Our dog Luther is, I think his whole trail now is his. He's marked just about every tree he could. <laughs> the doggy way of marking it, claiming property to be his own. So, uh, going up a hill here. Another thing I'd like to say going forward in time here. Whoa, that's bright. Um, is uh, the extreme importance of getting your health in check. Uh, and I don't say that as a perfect health all my life type of a guy. I've had a heart condition since I was a boy. Mitral valve prolapse is what it's called. Um, I've had a lot of different issues. I used to really suffer bad from poison ivy. They put me on medication for that. And uh, not real good for me either. So I see the battery's dying, so I guess that's going to be it. <laughs> thank you for watching. Sorry to end the video so abruptly, but thank you for watching.